Okay, most of the lids have popped, um, and you can see it's uh, it's starting to congeal pretty good. Um, this is the the plum jelly that my grandma and I did the other day, and you can see you can turn it upside down and it it don't move, and uh, and that's what you want. <clears throat> I like it to to be kind of a softer congeal, that way uh, it spreads easier. But just to uh, to give you an idea of the, the cost of this, okay, the the thing of jars was um, I think six or seven bucks, but you got to keep in mind the jars are reusable, so I mean you can count that as an expense or, or not. It's up to you. But um, uh, it took seven cups of sugar, which um, is most of a four-pound bag of sugar. Um, I think uh, I used probably three quarters of a bag of sugar and I only buy the sugar when I can get it on sale or coupon it so um, I think the most I've ever paid for a bag of sugar is like two dollars uh, so going conservative we'll say the bag of sugar was two dollars and then the grapes I got for uh, 98 cents a pound and um, it probably I bought eight pounds of grapes and I probably used about half of them and uh, so we'll say four bucks for the grapes, two bucks for the sugar, and uh, I'm not counting the jars because they're reusable. So um, it was six bucks for twelve jars of jelly. So it comes out to about fifty cents a jar, um, which I mean uh, you can you could probably get it that cheap at the store. Um, but you're not going to get it that good at the store. So I just, I kind of wanted to follow up with the, the jelly making video because, I mean, if it costs seven or eight dollars a jar to make it, there's, there's no point in doing it other than the, just the, the experience of knowing how to do it. But, I mean, when it costs 50 cents a jar to make, it's, um, to me, I think that's, that's well worth it, especially when you're getting the quality and the flavor that, uh, that you get in homemade jelly. So here's the uh, here's the difference in the plum and the let's see if you can see it with a light uh, the plum and the plum jelly or grape plum and grape not a whole lot of difference really the grape the camera's probably not picking it up but the grape's a little bit pinker than the than the plum so <clears throat> anyway to me the uh, the cost is well worth it. And uh, I have probably purchased the last can of jelly, store-bought jelly that I will I will ever buy. <clears throat> it uh, yeah, I I don't know how how long this uh, video is going to turn out to be, but the entire process of making the jelly from start to finish probably took me maybe two hours, hour and a half, and um, and here I am with uh, twelve jars of jelly. So. You know, that'll last us in this house. I mean, crane of jelly does go pretty quick, but it's, it'll last us quite a while. So for an hour and a half of your time, you're, uh, you're saving money, and you get better tasting jelly. And you get experience for something that may uh, you may have to have in the future. So anyway, I just thought I'd follow up and let everybody know that uh, it really is cost effective to do it this way. So... Thanks again for watching. Talk to y'all later.